Let's start with your reading Capricorn. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. We're going to look into your recent past, current energies and immediate future. For cross watchers, keep in mind that energies go both ways. Please take the messages as they best resonate with you. All right, let's look into your recent past, current energies, and immediate future. Energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman. What this card is telling me is that perhaps you have been experiencing a blockage in your life recently. This is something that uh, prevents you in a way to move forward and to see any sort of progress in general. Now, what's very interesting about this card is that we, what we might not know is that we put ourselves in the position of the hangman. So overall, we are seeing here an intentional pause. Doesn't mean that you might know about this, but there is clearly here a, a blockage that for some reason you are deciding for yourself. And so let's see how this energy will connect to the rest of the reading. First of all, let's start with your recent past. So I see you here trying to start something new trying perhaps to move forward in a situation that is not making you happy right now, is not what you want it to be. You feel the potential of it and you have good ideas and overall a good approach to move forward and to make you happy again. Now with the S ones we see that idea, we see that spark, that inspiration, and we see also that you might have had in your past and recent past some opportunities around you to be happy, to maybe meet someone else, to start something new for yourself. And you know what? What I see here is that you do start because deep down you really want to do this. You really want to go for this. And also the ace number one does talk about a new beginning. Therefore, when you start something, your whole environment completely changes. Everything that has happened up to this point uh, is wiped out, wiped away, and therefore uh, leaving room for something new. And so this is what you want to do. Start anew, start fresh, letting go of what's been up to this point and give yourself a chance to be happy again. Now, although you start, we see the 10 of wands reversed right after, which means that you start, but you never finish. Maybe halfway in, you decide that this is not really what you want to do. You start seeing things here and there that you're not very happy about. And so you tell yourself that this was a mistake. I should just go back, wait, and, um, trying something else at some point right here this card is reversed because you're not getting what you're searching for usually this card talks about receiving achieving a goal but down here like this it means that eventually when you start you never get to your end goal and we know since we've seen the hangman there that this is because of you you might not know about this but you are self-sabotaging yourself here. And it's clear that there is something else maybe that you are waiting for, something else that you are waiting to happen that it's not in your control. So let's see what we have in the current energies. All right, okay. So here we have the Ace of Swords, the Star, and the Wheel of Fortune. Having the Ace of Swords in your current energies tell us that you are soon going to be soon able to understand what's really happening in this situation. And I want to give you a preview of that, trying to maybe guide you in why you have been stuck for weeks, months, and how to start fixing that issue so that you can find happiness again. 
First of all, with the Ace of Swords, expect this to be a revelation, to be a breakthrough moment, something that maybe you really did not see, but that will make you go through a new beginning. Now, we don't see the Ace of Wands, we see the Ace of Swords, but is an Ace regardless, which means that a new beginning now it's starting, and this one has plenty of clarity, and it's really going to put you in a situation where you can really move forward. What I see here, the clarity that you're going to get is about you secretly waiting for something, wishing for something. The star, the will of fortune, I see you here not being able to focus on the present, therefore your future, because you're focusing on the past. I've said this before and I'm sure you know this already, uh, the light that travels from the stars to us takes millions, billions of years to get to us. Therefore, you're seeing the light of that star when it left that star millions and billions of years ago. And that means that you're looking into the past. That's what the star card means. You are wishing for something, and in this case, something to come from a past situation, from someone maybe who's not around you at the moment. So regardless of you being completely aware of this or not, your actions are very much impacted, conditioned by this other situation that it's still very important to you. What I see here with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, usually you see change with this card, but you also see repetition. The wheel keeps turning around, it's a repetition and it will never end. And what we see here is that you are waiting, wishing for a situation from the past to repeat itself. Now, for some of you, this being a general reading, it has different uh, meanings. For some of you, you are waiting for a specific person or situation to come back. For some other of you, instead, you want to have the same type of feelings. You want the new situation, the new beginning, to have the same intensity that this one had in the past. And so maybe that's why you put yourself out there, you start something new, and then you realize when you start it, that it's not as good as this one was. Therefore, giving it up and just going back, looking again, again for that type of energy. So it's clear that here you are putting yourself in this situation, but maybe there is a reason why. So let's see what we have here in the immediate future. Speaking of the past, Six of Cups, and the Page of Cups, a message. So what I'm seeing here is that perhaps not only you are missing a certain person or a certain feeling within you, but the reason why you might have been waiting for it is because you actually felt the anticipation of it. The reason why I say that it's because with the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups, we clearly are receiving a message from someone that belongs in the past. This person has still a connection with you. They are also looking at this Wheel of Fortune up here, hoping for the impossible to become possible, hoping to reconnect and to explore maybe a uh, new type of connection. That's what I'm getting from this person. Repeat, but repeat it in a different way. Both repetition and transformation and change there. They are clearly wanting to tell you something. And with this card, you know that they're going to reach out. The Six of Cups, as you might know, talks about feeling nostalgic about the past, feeling nostalgic about an event, a memory, and overall being able to be happy just when you think about that memory. And it's clear that this is not sustainable because we don't want to be remembering how we were happy in the past. We want to be happy today in the present, 
And that's what you are trying to do here. And something is holding you back from that. And now we see what this is. This person perhaps has been feeling the same way. And you, in a way, knew that. Energetically, they were connecting with you. Preventing you, therefore, to move forward. Hmm. So let's look into this person. Let's see what they want to tell you here with the Page of Cups. I want to look into what they want to say and also what their feelings and intentions are at this point. Let's see if this message will change the dynamic in this connection at all. And especially if it's going to unblock you so that you can find happiness once again. I'll be continuing this reading in the extended video link below in the description box. Follow me there if you want to dive deeper into the messages. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Capricorn. What we have seen here in this situation is you trying to move forward and not just thinking about it, but actually trying attempting this move forward and eventually every time you try you end up always going back to the beginning because what you find along the way is not really what you want sorry i just got the car that fell on the floor the high priestess what we have seen here is that you have a reason why to do so there is something coming up here which will be connecting you back to the past whether you want it or not, this message is coming in and either is going to give you closure and going to make you able to not be in this hangman position any longer so that you can focus on your future or is going to give you the possibility to reconnect with this person and see if maybe there is a way to fix things. So let's see, first of all, what this person wants here, what they're going to tell you through that message. And this High Priestess really came up because you felt the intuition. You were basing your moves on your intuition. As we said, you felt the anticipation of something and now we see it happening in the immediate future. So let's look into this page of cups and see what they're feeling, what they're going to tell you as well. This person will really, will really go straight to the point. They will not waste time at all. What we're seeing here right now.